Hey, what's up guys? I'm Alex from Zaxworks. Let me go ahead and show you how to put a Cinema 4D model into Pro Animator inside of After Effects. All right, so first thing you need is a cool model. Uh, the guys over at the Pixel Lab have a bunch of really cool free models. I recommend going and checking them out. So I have one of their models right here. It's a cool little guitar from Guitar Hero, right? Awesome. Want to create a cool little uh, intro with it. So first I want to do is I want to get it out of Cinema 4D and into Pro Animator. How do I do that? Well, it's pretty simple. The first thing I need to do is clean up my scene and then export my textures and then export my model. Okay, those are all the steps. So let's go ahead and clean up our scene here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just delete these top guys because note that when I export my model, it's going to export everything in my scene. So if I, if I, so if I have anything else in my scene, it's going to show up in Pro Animator, and I don't want that. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this top guys from Annabelle Diaz, awesome model, man. Um, I'm going to delete the scene, and then I'm going to go ahead and go to View, Frame All, just to center my model in front of it, okay? So the first thing we want to do is select our object, go to Objects, and do Bake Object. We're going to bake the texture. So I have a single texture selected. Zero and two for pixel port is perfect. Uh, note that 512 by default looks like that. We don't want that. We want it to be 2048 or bigger if you if you want to go bigger with your machine. Uh, note that it's only going to be one texture map for the entire model, so uh, you want it as large as possible. Uh, we're going to have a format of JPEG, and uh, eight bits per channel looks fine. Make sure you pick the location, the path name that you want. I already have it set up and I'll go ahead and click bake. And what it's going to do now is look in the lower left hand corner. It's going to be baking every single element inside of our model here. Um, so it'll take a little bit of time based on the complexity of your model, but no worries. Just let it do its thing. Don't hit cancel. Just let us do a thing. Um, and then uh, we'll go from when it's finally done, we can import it. All right, cool. So now that we can look in the lower left-hand corner, it says baking complete. We have a new material right here. And in the top right-hand corner, we have two models now. The bottom one's our original model. The top one is a new model it's created that has the new UV coordinates that we need inside of Pro Animator. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna select the bottom one and hit delete. We don't want that guy anymore. Then we'll select the top one and let's export it. We'll go over to file, export OBJ. We're gonna export an OBJ file. Okay, so this is where we want. I'm going to hit save. I've already done this before, so I'm going to hit replace. Inside of the OBJ export area, we can take our material and set no material, and then flip Z axis, make sure that's turned on because the Cinema 4D Z axis is backwards from the Pro Animator Z axis, and then that's all you got to worry about. Okay, go ahead and click OK, and it'll do its thing and it'll export our cool looking guitar. All right, already done. Let's go over to After Effects. And in After Effects, I've already applied Pro Animator to a solid layer. I'm going to go ahead and go into the setup window inside of Pro Animator. Awesome. Up here, I'll go up to the top, Object, Import 3D Objects, find our new OBJ model, click Import, and we see our cool looking 3D model right here. Let me go ahead and do, do view front to view our entire model and it looks awesome, right? Let's go ahead and put some materials on it. Spice that guy up. Go ahead and click right here. Open up our image selector. Select the new um, whoops, I'll select that. Press the space bar to view it on a Mac. But this is what our, our image is going to look like. We'll go ahead and click open. Put it into here and then just drag it right onto our um, guitar. And just like that, we have a cool texture looking 3D guitar inside of Pro Animator. Remember, we're also still inside of After Effects. So all I have to do is click OK, and we're going to go back into After Effects, and it's going to load up our guitar pretty quickly for us so that we get to see our cool looking guitar inside of After Effects and we can do whatever else we want with our title design. All right, so that's it for this tutorial. If you haven't already, please go ahead and subscribe to us on YouTube, follow us on Facebook and Twitter. We really appreciate it. We have new tutorials and free stuff given away all the time and trust me, you'll benefit from it. So once again, I'm Alex from Zaxworks and I'll see you soon.